I thank you for inviting me today, representing the missions of the Religious Teachers Filipini, who for many years have been doing the same work as, as uh, Merla for children throughout the world. So, uh, question, what is the only country in the world that had in its constitution there is no God? Albania. Was the only country in the world that had a decree that you could have no flowers in or out of the house at any season. Do you know what country that was? Albania. Albania. When the tyrannical communism fell, Pope John Paul II called Sister Mary de Bacco, who was our superior general, and he said, would you open a school in Albania? And just that day we saw on the news that Amnesty International had said that Albania at that time was the most dangerous country in the world. Sister Mary de Bacco, with great courage, said, surely, Holy Father, we will open a school. When the papal nuncio dropped us off at our rented house in Albania, his last words to us were, don't help the teenagers, they'll kill you. The next morning at 7 a.m., guess who was at our door? The teenagers. They hadn't been to school, they didn't know God, they don't know how to read, they don't know how to write, they knew nothing. But they knew there was goodness there. And so sisters, we figured out what to do with them, they would never get to school. So we started scouts with them. And so, sister said to them, if you want to be a scout, you've got to sign your name. And they're like, what? We can't sign our name. We don't even know how to write. And so sister said, well, come tomorrow, and well, I'll give you, teach you how to do the best signature in the world. And so they all showed up the next day. And so began St. Lucy School. They learned how to write their names with scouting. We brought compasses, and sister would take them out to the mountains, and they learned their math through the hiking and all the other wonderful things. And you know the Boy Scout oath? On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and country, she made them memorize that. And they're going, God? We don't know who God is, and we can't say the word God. And she goes, you're free now. And that's how the beginning of St. Lucy Catechism began in Albania. The journey began. And these teenagers are adults now, and they have changed that whole city of Barat. And St. Lucy School in Albania flourishes to this day. Second story, Ethiopia. Let's go to Ethiopia. We're sitting in the courtyard in Adi Grat, in the remotest part of Ethiopia, and we hear this rumble like a huge truck. So we all go outside to see it, and it's an 18-wheeler truck. An Ethiopian man gets out of it, he's in a three-piece suit, he's the man, all right? And the truck is filled with fruit and vegetables. And he goes, I've come to see my family, especially my mother's. And we realized it was Tesfai, he had been an orphan. He came to us when he was six years old with his three little sisters. His mother and father had died of AIDS. He was the man, the child-headed household. We have 700 children like that right now in Adi Grat. We pay the oldest girl to come to school. If she doesn't go to school, doesn't go to school, she'll turn to any awfulness to survive. So we teach them cooking, sewing, and wonderful things so they can get a job. Do you remember Mussolini conquered Ethiopia? So the Ethiopians love Italian food, so our sisters are in, right? So, so we went one, this last September, I went with sister to the one of these girls has a coffee shop, it's like Starbucks, Ethiopia, and she's crying, and sister says, why are you crying? And she says, well, it's only nine o'clock, and I've sold all my biscotti. And sister goes to her, stop crying, come on. And we all went in the kitchen, we made more biscotti for her, you know, just something. So that's what we do throughout the world. We try to give the children, give them a life, give them a faith, and give them hope, because with hope, you have a future, and people with hope live differently. So I thank you for all you do, for all the people of the world. Pray for the children and help the Missionary Alliance. God bless you.